Hello everyone and welcome to the new video. Today I am setting up my bullet journal for October and you guessed it, it's mushrooms for this month. I always wanted to paint mushrooms but seeing the details I was always always intimidated. This time I had some courage to just pick three types of mushrooms which I felt was easy enough to make. The first one being the infamous, the little brown mushroom. They are extremely poisonous. Well, it's October. Something gothic has to happen in bullet journal. So I started with painting the top and then adding details for the stalk or the stem. Later on when I saw the reference images, uh, I saw that the stalks were a little different than what I sketched earlier. I added burnt umber and burnt sienna combination for the stalks to highlight. So you will see me repainting them a little bit. Adding various shadows really helped this stalk to pop. Once those layers were drying, I went again with burnt sienna and started adding highlights on the top. Apart from blending and mixing of the colors which I usually use, this time I also used a color lifting technique which is often used in watercolor but this time I was trying to use it in gouache and the results were pretty good I would say and you would be seeing me using this technique multiple times throughout these artwork also I would like to take a moment to welcome you if you are new here Please consider subscribing to the channel and following me on Instagram at Create with Kaushiki, where I'll be posting a lots and lots of more content. As in India, we have upcoming Diwali season, so there is a lot more artwork coming along. Also, if you're enjoying this video, then please consider subscribing to the channel. It really helps. These artwork really took a lot of time, especially this first one was the longest. Actually, I had a total recorded footage of almost four hours and hence you see that this video has been sped up a lot and I'm sorry about it, but uh, it was way too much of footage and I wanted to include as many artwork techniques as possible so that if you are planning to replicate this then you can easily do so later on i realized that the top should not be that pointed but uh, i already painted it and i had zero patience to correct that so i let go that I have also started using a couple of digital planners like Notion and GoodNotes which I will be sharing in my upcoming videos as I wanted to share that digital planning aspect of my life as well. Mainly I use bullet journal for a brain dump for my gratitude and daily journaling and that is a reason I do not flip my journals because there is a lot of personal content involved and uh, I'm not very comfortable to share it but major uh, digital planning happens earlier it used to happen on my phone and then majorly now I have started using Notion and GoodNotes.
so do let me know if you are interested in that as well. So you will see me uh, covering a lot of my mistakes throughout and I didn't want to snip it off from the video because in real life when we paint there will be some smudges, there will be a lot of uh, smears or colors won't match the way you wanted it to be. So it's I feel it's important to share the behind the scenes how to fix those mistakes as well now I have used this black paper to cover the left side of this spread and on the right side I have done is torn the paper all around this mushroom design I'll also add a little bit of grass at the bottom and around the mushrooms. I mixed some bit of brown and black in the green color and diluted it enough and if you could see I have taken it to the edge of the paper and on top I felt it was looking pretty empty so I took some cuttings of newspaper and stuck it on the top and at the bottom and this gave this entire spread a very a very beautiful look I feel and then I pasted the calendar for the month and by far this is one of my favorite spreads that I have created so far I love how the brown from the mushrooms cream from the mushroom matches the newspaper and the calendar and the black gives such a dark uh, gothic vibes to this entire painting which is so apt then once I have pasted all the cuttings in newspapers I went again to the stalks of the mushroom which I was not happy earlier and started adding more highlights to it In all honesty by this time I was feeling very frustrated because there was so many layers of white and beige color paint and it was constantly blending with the brown so I was sort of feeling very very frustrated and I think I should have started with brown and then layered the white then I was having a tough time with these stamps these vintage stamps though they look really pretty but it is so hard to align them you will see me struggling with this throughout the spread so my calligraphy is not that great at all so I often try and use these stamps but they are so hard to use so hard to use or maybe I have not learned the right technique to use maybe that could be a case so here you see me using these punch to 
राउंड ऑफ दोज कॉर्नर्स एंड आई हैव यूज अ टच डोर आई ट्राई टू ड्रॉ दीज फेमस इंक कैप मशरूम्स ऑल्सो नोन एज एलियन मशरूम्स एंड सपोजिटली देर इज लाइक अ ब्लैक और ब्लूइश ब्लैक इंक दैट कम्स आउट ऑफ दीज मशरूम्स आई हैव सीन द पिक्चर्स ऑफ दीज मशरूम्स ऑल अक्रॉस द इंटरनेट एंड आई वॉज सो फैसिनेटेड बाई दिस of all the artwork this was the easiest of all or rather it came really fast and it looked also pretty decent I used this uh, beige, greyish beige color for the cap part of it, and then used the black color to paint the inner side of the mushrooms. And using this similar way of highlighting the stalks, but in a very lighter color. I again used the same green wash that I used for the first artwork to fill all the gaps. in between the mushrooms
these are edible mushrooms but i think there is a special way to identify them and i have read that if you cannot identify the mushrooms you should not try to eat them at all i use some burnt sienna to highlight the top for the dirt and the dust and where is dots for the top of the page to continue with the same theme i have again used newspaper and then the black paper that i used earlier now this black paper comes as a set of multiple other colors and i will leave the link of all the products in the description box for you this spread i basically use for all video ideas and all the home projects that i have to do throughout the month It's kind of a my brain dump here and I use it specifically to just kind of jot down all the ideas. As I mentioned earlier, I use my bullet journal majorly for just to pour in all the ideas that is there in my mind and once I'm okay and final with the ideas, then I go ahead and use my digital planners to plan my entire video or my work Now next is these uh, shiitake mushrooms and here I have extensively used the technique of uh, taking the color off from the palette. I have used lots of water to dilute the texture and then create an amazing effect of paint. Here I am using black color on the rim and then using burnt umber and then the third layer was burnt sienna a little bit mixed with the black then diluting it with water and pulling all the paint with help of a tissue paper i had to do this multiple times to create this amazing looking texture for the inside i used black color and i will later on add all the gills of the mushrooms i use my tombow pen 
in this beautiful golden mustard color to outline all the lines I have used brown color I'll be doing all my meal plan in these spreads I like to meal plan for two weeks once I have done that I went ahead and started adding textures and shading on the stalks of the mushrooms I felt that this uh, particular spread requires a little bit of more pop of color so I took black paint and painted in between the lines and the boxes that we made with the yellow color again I was struggling with the stamps a lot until the end I was not able to stamp the P properly but on the next touch door I wrote 1 to 31st and this is the gratitude page that I write it is a one line gratitude that I like to write every day for my nighttime routine and same way as the next spread was for the one line a day these two spreads are specific reason that I do not want to quit bullet journaling and because while they are the a big routine, part I of do my not like to use routine. any form of digital software or anything it's my way to unwind and calm myself down throughout the day that has happened to recollect things in my mind and by this we come to the end of this spread and the last I have written about the reflections that I had throughout the month that I want to think about what I was able to achieve so I hope you so here is the final flip through of all the spreads and I think it came out really really beautiful more than I expected and I'm very happy with how the spreads look I still need to work on my stamping skills though but I think rest otherwise my artwork has gradually improved from where I started. You can watch all my earlier plan with me videos. I will try and leave a link in the description box for you. I will also leave the link of all the supplies that I have used. Like this video and share it with your friends and family. I will see you in my next video. Until next time, bye-bye.